volcanoes. You know, there's some volcanoes that erupt and they ooze and ooze, and there's other volcanoes erupt and they go boom. Has anybody ever seen a picture or heard about an explosive volcano? Yeah, what's the name of it? Mount Humphreys. Yeah, that was an explosive <laughs> volcano. Not anymore, though. Mount St. Helens is a, a famous one, erupted in 1980. Um, explosive volcanoes are the ones that are very violent, and they go boom, and they send material way up into the air. Why are some volcanoes explosive and some volcanoes just ooze? Explosive volcanoes have, like, the top covered, so they have to move the top out of the way. Okay, but what causes that explosion? Pressure. Pressure? Okay, what's under pressure? The magma. The magma and? The top. Gas. There's gas down there too. There's gas down in there in the magma, trapped in that magma. And you can't see it, it's dissolved. Um, it's kind of like in this bottle of soda. If you look at it on the shelf, you just see brown soda. But there's actually gases in there. And if I take that bottle and I shake it up, and then I open it, what happens? It sprays all over the place it and your parents are not it happy. It explodes. And the reason this soda bottle explodes is because of all those gases. When I open, when that bottle is under pressure, when I open that bottle, the gases can come out and they push the soda out and they explode. And the same thing happens with the volcano. There's gases in the magma underground and when that magma comes up towards the surface, those gases are allowed to escape and they erupt out of the ground and they push the explosion, they push the volcano, um, or they push the magma up into the air. So today we're going to demonstrate what happens during an explosive volcanic eruption. Uh, today's demonstration, the trash can is our volcano, the trash can has water in it, that is our magma, and we're going to use a gas that's called nitrogen. Anybody ever heard of nitrogen? Yeah? Where? Where's nitrogen? In the, air. in the air. You take a deep breath, you're breathing in nitrogen. The air is, is mostly nitrogen along with other gases like oxygen. Um, so nitrogen is safe. You breathe it every single day. But today we're using something called liquid nitrogen. It's a liquid form of nitrogen. How do you take a gas and make it into a liquid? Make it really, really cold. Really, really cold. The liquid nitrogen we're using is very, very cold. That's why our scientists today have their safety equipment with their lab coats and their gloves and their goggles. Um, when they pour that liquid nitrogen, they're going to pour the liquid nitrogen into the bottle as a liquid and put the lid on. And what happens? That liquid is going to turn into a gas in the bottle and explode. It's going to expand the bottle and explode. And break it open. Are you guys ready to see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. So Colleen's gonna pour our liquid nitrogen into the bottle. She's pouring it. You see how it's smoking? That's the liquid turning into a gas. It's warming up and turning into a gas. And now Lisa's gonna put the lid on that bottle and trap all that gas. Run away! It's gonna jump up. The trash can is gonna jump. Three, two, one. What is that a piece of, Skylar? <laughs> <laughs> the phone oh, hit me. Oh, exactly. yeah, yeah. The wind changed direction. You guys got it. Did you get wet? Or just a little bit? A little bit. No. We got some excitement. I saw that. Are you What's okay? The, the, foam foam foam. The, the foam is just foam that we painted. It's it's fun to use because it lets you see how high that water went. Sometimes it's hard to see the water. But these are easier to see. See nice, that? look at that bottle, huh? Look what happened to that bottle. Wow, it exploded the bottle. Yes, thank you.